What is up everyone? Welcome back to Tidal Gardens. Let me show you guys this tank. It may have appeared in the background of some other videos, but I haven't dedicated a tank overview to it specifically. I call this one my unintentional anemone tank. A while back, I purchased two tanks that would serve as species specific show tanks. They are somewhere in the ballpark of 250 gallons each. I think that they measure roughly 60 inches long, 36 inches front to back, and 26 inches tall, making them the deepest tanks in this building. The first species specific tank we did turned into our Euphilia show tank, and that one's been doing great. This second tank was attached to a different system altogether, and we let that system settle in for a longer period of time. Because there wasn't a lot going on with that system as a whole, this species specific show tank became kind of a back burner project that wasn't going to be getting a lot of attention. At one time, I was considering making it like a Ganyapora dominated aquarium to mirror the Euphilia show tank. My thought there was you would have two show tanks facing one another with colorful wavy large polyp stonies but totally different corals to achieve a very similar aesthetic. Initially we did throw some Ganyapora and Alveopora frags in there but that was kind of a short-lived experiment. Not because that the Ganyapora were doing poorly by any means. In general I would say that Ganyapora and Alveopora really like it in these systems. What happened was we got some Colorado Sunburst anemones from a local hobbyist and they were put into this tank temporarily, quote unquote. There's a thought in the bubble tip anemone world that mixing different color variants doesn't always work and what you end up with is some mysterious interaction which makes one variant die out. For example, if we had say these Colorado Sunbursts in the same system with the all green bubble tip anemone variant, the green ones would slowly vanish from the aquarium. This has happened to us in the greenhouse. I have seen it work out for other people who have successfully kept different color morphs together, but we have seen that, that weird interaction before in our systems, and since we have multiple systems, it was easy enough to separate them all out. Long story short, in an effort to find a system that didn't have any other types of bubble tip, we tossed the new Colorado sunbursts into a basket in this tank. We didn't think much of it at the time because they were microscopically tiny. Generally speaking, they don't escape from the basket. Surprise, surprise, they eventually escaped from their basket and started to grow and grow in this tank. And over time, I wanted to move the Ganyapora out. Bubble tip anemones don't have the most potent sting in the world, but I didn't want them fighting with our really nice Ganyapora. All it takes is one anemone killing a glitter bomb or an amaze balls to have you really questioning your life choices. When we moved all the Ganys out, over time these anemones started to take over. Thus, this was never really intended to be an anemone tank, it just sort of happened. That is the current state of things with this tank coral slash anemone wise. As for fish, it is a little sparse and very likely to change in the near future. There is a magnificent fox face, a powder blue tang, and a few yellowtail damsels. The fox face is in this tank because he used to be in the SPS show tank with a host of other large herbivores. One day, out of the blue, he became super ultra aggressive with the two other regular fox faces and he had to go. He was chasing the biggest one around to the point where I thought that that fish was going to jump out of the tank. It was really bizarre and, and unexpected behavior because before moving him into this show tank, he was really docile and kept to himself. The powder blue tang actually came from my friend Nathan's tank. This poor fish was super sick in his tank and he asked us to try to save it in our QT system. This tang was absolutely covered in what looked like white spots, probably egg, who knows. After a few weeks in QT, he eventually recovered and has grown into a very handsome specimen in this tank. Having said that, powder blue tangs are colossal jerks, worse than most tangs who tend to be jerks, period. We got him when he was fairly small, 
but now that he's grown to be the largest fish in this tank, he spends a good portion of the day chasing around the magnificent fox face. I was thinking one of two possibilities with these fish. Either sell the powder blue, so I asked Nathan if he wanted it back, and he said no, or do I try and add more fish to try and even out the hostile vibes a little bit? If I add fish, I was thinking about getting a pair of black and white clownfish to host in the anemones. Thing is, I really, really hate dealing with clownfish. They are, pound for pound, the meanest fish in the whole world, and we already have one set of clownfish that like to draw blood in Becca's tank. Do I really want more of that sort of thing in other tanks? Hmm. So what do you guys think? Should I commit to an anemone themed tank complete with clownfish, or should I find a new home for the anemones and go back to the original plan with Ganyapura? Let me know in the comments below. Happy reefing.